This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Rentinger's Rants. Of this week, not so ranty, more of a commentary on the mobile industry. I want to talk about this guy, not the 9900, but what sits below that screen, a keyboard. It is an aging dinosaur of the tech world. I want to talk about my opinions on the physical keyboards and how things have just totally changed over the past few years in the mobile world. This is Rentinger's Rants. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's play a game. Ask yourself what was important to you on a smartphone six years ago. Chances are physical keyboard was high on that list. It used to be the only thing that I wanted to smartphone. I remember going to Blackberry, it's like Blackberry products had a physical keyboard. I used old Windows mobile devices because it had that keyboard. I had to have it. On-screen keyboards were awful affair. You had to use a stylus and tap away. The iPhone came and the on-screen keyboard sort of ushered out the physical keyboards. The old expression, the old song, video killed the radio star. On-screen keyboards killed physical keyboards. And it was a sad day. There's still a lot of people that really love it. But going through and reading the reviews uh, on a device like BlackBerry's Q10, people that use physical keyboards are being totally ostracized. That's sort of a niche audience. It's just been very interesting to see how things have changed over the past six years. So for me, I still like a physical keyboard. A lot of what I do is sitting there pecking away emails on screen. Now, certainly there are other options that have come up, things like Swipe, which I'm finally learning how to use. But I still have a nostalgic place in my heart for something like this. A physical keyboard, the feel of the buttons below. I feel like I'm more in control of what I'm doing on a phone. It makes me think, what are things going to be seven years from now? Are we even going to have keyboards on phones? Is it going to put it down? Are you going to get a holographic display that you'll be able to type on your desk? I want to make some predictions. Let's see where tech is going to be in seven years. So first, I think 1080p is probably as high a resolution as we're going to be able to see with our eyes, but I don't think it's going to stop phone manufacturers from making things higher and higher resolution just because you know you freaking can. Things will look clear, they'll look crisper, but as far as seeing individual pixels, it's not going to matter. Processors are going to get faster and faster and faster. I think we're going to get 32 core processors. I think what you can do right now on your computer is what your phone's gonna be able to do in seven years. We're gonna have a merging too of mobile device versus home computers. I think eventually all your home computer is gonna be is a monitor and you plug your mobile device in the back. So that becomes your home computer. Maybe the operating system changes. And more I thought about the BlackBerry Q10 and I looked through my drawer and I found this old 9900. Just got me reminiscent and sort of nostalgic about the physical keyboard. So I wanted your opinion on it. Is the physical keyboard so important to you guys? Does that still matter to you? Something that you still need to have on a phone? I still just have a very soft spot in my heart for the physical keyboard. And I miss it. So I'm excited for the Q10. I'm excited to try it, to use it, to review it. Hopefully we'll get our review unit in soon. Uh, but again, I just wanted to hear your thoughts on it. So leave them in comments down below. So we'll take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Jack Threads. Jack Threads has quickly become the online shopping destination for dudes. If you like to get in clothes, but you don't like to actually go out and go shopping, Jack Threads is for you. Everything on the site is 80% off because paying full price is for suckers. And I'll see you, looked at the monitor, you don't look like a sucker to me. They serve up killer contemporary street and apparel accessories and gadgets from brands like Converse, Penguin, and Busted Tees. And shopping is stupid, simple, and styles are curated so buyer's remorse just don't happen. And because you're a loyal viewer of Techno Buffalo, skip the wait list. Go to jackthreads.com slash techno, sign up, get all your latest gear, and don't have to worry about going to the mall. It makes it stupid simple. Again, check it out. It's jackthreads.com slash techno. Thank you guys for watching that episode of Rentinger's Sort of Rants. I'll be back next week, mad, angry, and red-faced ranting about something, I promise. I will see you guys in the next video. I feel like I want to fall over. Still filming me?